You cannot write uh, about the light heavyweight division for the last 10 years and don't write Glenn Johnson in it. While not as well known as many of his compatriots, Glenn Johnson beat the best in the division when the division was at its best. When I first entered the division, I mean, Roy Jones and all of those guys was already on the top and I was at, at the bottom looking up and, and, and feel like I deserved to be on the top. The light heavyweight division at the time was filled with colorful characters, so it was easy to overlook a fighter whose quiet demeanor earned him the nickname, The Gentleman. I could go out and make a fool of myself, break out in, in fight at a press conference like a lot of guys do, but I feel like I'm better than those things. He proved himself with his fists, quietly working his way through the rankings to the pinnacle of the division. When I knock out Roy Jones, then Tava had nowhere to go but me. So he decided to fight me, but then I beat him. So then he had no choice but to do the rematch. So when he won the rematch, then he disappeared. What stopped him from fighting me three times?